Let's find out this HyperOS Mori Edition, which I've installed on my device so far. It's available for some other devices also. So of course, link is already available in the description. Unlike some other HyperOS Mori Editions like Xiaomi EU or MIUI or basically HyperOS Elightroom, those are good. Those are good enough. But this is also one of those alternatives. Some of the great things which are included here, we will talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Based on Android 14, it's also based Based on China version, so as you can see, we have the option for basic Google services. It's disabled by default. If you need Google device, you need Google apps on a device, Google Play Store, Gmail, Google Apps, etc., etc. You have to turn it on, and this is very useful. It's like in, in some other custom rooms, AOSP based custom rooms, you have the option to disable or enable the basic Google services. So that's a very useful thing. Secondly, in the home screen settings, or basically the default launcher. It is a heavy, it is having some options for customizations related to recent panel. You can enable iOS style recents, although you can't customize them like the visibility or etc. But you have the option for this. We also have the option for uh, this don't show text. Almost all similar features which you have by default available in HyperOS, but including that some extra and updated features are available. Like for example, super icon rounded and the option for app pinning and also the status bar clock visibility. This is actually quite useful. It's also present here. And last but not the least, App Vault, which is working fine here. You can use it in case you want to. In case you don't want to, you can disable this thing. It's having China version, so all the Chinese widgets are also present here. Unlock animation is also present there and else we have some similar things available here. This is the default launcher what we have. If I move on here and see to customize this icon, click OK. This is like here. You have the option to choose the customized icons and all these icons are unlocked. For example, these are the icons. And if you want to apply this, you can see it's unlocked. It's automatically unlocked because we are using a modded edition. So that is why all the icons or super icons are unlocked. I'm able to use them. This is quite interesting, of course. And I guess it's available in other modded editions of HyperOS 2. And if you want to change it, for example, you can customize the size, same or similar kind of things which are present in other HyperOS things are also present here. So no issues here, at least for me, but uh, some options like uh, theming options or in the theme store. One of my favorite feature is move into the settings options. You will see the theme app server option is present here. So by default, currently, if it was in China, I can change the server to global so that if I click on restart theme app, theme app will be restarted. And now I will be able to see the themes which are available in global edition, not in China, because some themes in China are so good. But some themes, if you want to apply some of the themes from global theme store, you can apply them very easily. As you can see, all these things are present. I can download them. I can use them. Also, we have the import option. So if you have a third party theme, you can apply that. So that is also good. Another thing is a play integrity. It passes play integrity. So that's really good. I will give you the link in the description for this custom room because this is so amazing and available for many Xiaomi devices because uh, I have the link and I found that this is available for many Xiaomi devices. That is why I am sharing this thing with you. We have this basic integrity which is passing here. Uh, the camera app is also updated although you can see here updated camera app is present. Uh, some of the issues what I found so far here is in the video recording option. If I move on to the video recording option, see here. I have the option for 1080p 30fps, I can choose 4k, but I can't choose 4k 60fps. I'm not exactly sure, of course my device supports 4k 60fps by default, but it's not available here in this camera section. Maybe it's a device side issue or maybe I can use Gcam for that, but it is what it is. Another thing is the Google Pixel, uh, Google Photos Unlimited Backup. And that is one of the great things, to be honest with you. I have installed this modded edition. I don't need any kind of root accessories or basically root things to root modules to install and use these kind of things. Unlimited Google Photos Backup. It's already present here. Else we have similar kind of things. The lock screen is also inspired from the latest iOS style or basically HyperOS lock screen. The wallpapers are there. Everything else is just looking so good, so smooth. So far, no issues at all for me. Some things might be device specific, but most of the things are just similar. So yes, these were the things I just wanted to let you know. All the apps are also updated here. 
all the default apps are updated having all the features unlocked the security app has a new battery section and a lot more things so this was all if you like this video don't forget to drop a like if you are new here don't forget to subscribe the channel this is a hyperways modded edition and if you did more modded editions of hyperways or also a lot of custom room videos which are coming very very soon with the latest update with all the features make sure to subscribe the channel thanks for watching